Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about basic terminologies used in PhD. So in that case, we will first discuss about how to declare an entity. So in this segment, we will discuss about entity declaration, its syntax and we will see a couple of examples on how to declare our input or entity terms. Let us discuss about what is meant by entity declaration. So, it is nothing but an hardware description of digital system. Of hardware abstraction me kya hota hai? So whenever we deal with any circuitry where we'll have certain uh, input terms and output terms, those who are connected with the gates, logic gates. So there the correlation between which input terms are using and which output terms are being used. So this information is basically called as hardware abstraction. Jo ki hum complete karenge entity declarations. Se. Similarly, it defines the relationship between input and output port. So that case, we are going to use a term that is called as entity declaration. Now, how we can define this? So let us see its syntax. In that case, first we'll write the name as entity because we are declaring the term. Next, we'll write its name as entity name is. So here you have to put the name of entity according to the combinational or sequential circuit that we are defining. Next, we'll come across defining the port. In case of port, we have to place list of interface and their types. It simply indicates that which terms are being treated as input and which are treated as output term. And what is its type? Maybe they are beat, beat vector, standard logic or standard logic vector. So this term we have to define in case of port. And finally, we have to end the entity. So by these three lines, we have to define entity declaration. I hope you understood entity declaration. Let us see the help of an example. So here we are trying to declare entity for full adder. As you know, full adder is basically a combinational circuit which has three inputs, namely A, B and C in. The C in indicates initial carry and based on that, we'll get the output terms as sum and this is going to be carry now this is our initial carry and this is our final carry or you can write it as c out also now we'll write the entity sure entity the name of entity is full adder is this will be our first input. followed by port now in case of port we have three input terms a b c in these three are input bit so i'm writing this as input standard logic and we have two output terms sum and carry so they are written as output standard logic now once the ports has been declared we will go for ending the entity so i have written the statement as end entity now in case of entity even if you write end full adder it will be adjustable or it can be accepted because this language is flexible in this way one can declare entity remember whenever we are writing the code it starts with de defining library terms second stage we have to declare the entity so it simply specifies relationship between input and output terms let us take one more show multiplexer now this is a multiplexer having four inputs and one output as you know that multiplexer is basically a combinational circuit that accepts many input and it allows only one to reach at the output term. now in order to design this we have four input terms starting from i0 to i3 and uh, two select lines are there s1 s0 that will take the decision which line should be connected to output and a single output as one now if it is there let us define its entity term here entity the name is mux 4 is to 1 is after that we'll define the port here we have an input term i which is basically an input standard logic vector whose length is 3 down to 0 now this 3 down to 0 specifies we have an msb bit i3 i2 i1 and lsb bit as i0 so in earlier case we are defined as a bit now we are defining as a vector similarly we have a select line whose length is 1 down to 0 because it is have two bits s1 s0 so i written s as again input standard logic vector whose length is 1 down to 0 and a single output as y which is output standard logic so in this way one can declare the vectors also and finally we'll end it